and Gravelin do up the first three in this Ohio State batting order. And the first pitch from Smith in there for strike one, and we are underway for GCU. The one-two. Swing and a miss, and there you go. The strikeout parade continues. Not a bad way to start your Division I collegiate career, Mr. Smith. And Jamara Usti. That one, a little flare into left. Avila coming in, coming in. It's going to play right in front of him. Couldn't get to it. So a little bit of a kind of an inside-out swing there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So two strikeouts. Rip through the right side, past the shift. Peyton has his second base hit of the season, and the inning will continue. I mean, he's on deck. Got under that one. Skies it into shallow center field. Kazmar, the shortstop, coming back. Now the left fielder coming all the way over and drops it. Peyton was on the move. He's going to come in to score on an E7. That's one you don't see too often. Once that ball was down, he was sent. With Bo Ankeny could really make him pay. Rips it to short, though. They'll go the short way. And, man, Ankeny does not get cheated. Ripped up the middle. And a base hit. Geiselman's got his first base hit of his GCU career. And Crenshaw at the nine. Because he doesn't think of either of them as an eight or nine hole hitter. Into the gap. Coming over is Stevenson. He's going to backhand it. That's probably going to hold the runner at third. Crenshaw hustling into second with nobody covering the bag. A double for Dustin Crenshaw, his first extra base hit. Barreras ground out to second, his first time up. In the air to left. Coming in, making the grab is the left fielder Lipsy, and that's how the inning will end. <coughs> and he walked him. First walk of the ball game. The full count, two outs. The payoff pitch, back-to-back -back walks. The one-two. Bounces it all the way back to the backstop. Geiselman, no play, another wild pitch. So second wild pitch of the ball game. Taking his time and now ready. Foul tipped into the mitt. Rushed it up there at 88 and picks up his fifth strikeout of the outing. Pop out to shallow right field to the second baseman to end the inning. Little flare shot that's going to fall. Verdusco takes a big turn. Ball kicks away from the second baseman, Mershon, but not far enough. Hit well, pretty deep to right, going back, looking up, off the wall. Verdusco on his horse. He's going to turn the throw to the plate. It's going to be close, and he slides in safely. Wow. Eli Payton, if nobody was on, that shortstop would be on the other side. Ripped into center field. Will it get down? It does. Well, wow, nicely done by Stevenson to keep it in front of him and save a run. That was a laser into center field. Runners at the corner, still nobody out. York not going. Didn't hold back that time. Strike three. The Lopes looking to tack on here. Avila goes deep, high and deep, but just in front of the warning track, making the grab is the right fielder, Oakley. Peyton, though, is going to scamper home. So the sack fly gets the job done. Avila picks up his second RBI of the year, and the Lopes lead it three to nothing. That one ripped into left center field. Might go all the way to the wall. It does. York rounding second. Greg Wallace is going to send him. York rounding third. The throw by the shortstop to the plate. And they get him. York just couldn't get there in time. A beautiful relay throw, though. Geiselman with the double. But York thrown out at the plate. Payoff pitch. Didn't chase it. Ball four to take over after being here for like eight years at that, and nine years at that time. Ball in the dirt, Geiselman's throw. Dropped the ball. Man, Steve Mattingly waited a long time. I thought he beat the throw anyways. Fastball just inside. Another pretty good pitch. The 0-2, that one ripped into left. Gonna get down, they're gonna hold everybody up as that one was hit a little too briskly to score the runner, but back-to-back -back walks and then Ripped into right field for a base hit. Coming around second, Petterini. The throw's going to go into third, but it's offline. Well, Pelk decided to go to third and showed a strong arm. Just finding some holes, and that one 
Certainly does his job. A good play by Eli Payton to checks the runners. There goes the runner in the air to center field. That's going to be deep enough to tie this game. Verdusco's got it. His throw will come back into second. Mershon scores. And with one down, we got a whole new ball game. 3-3 here in the sixth. The 0-2. Breaking pitch inside corner. Strike three. Three runs already across on just two hits. Swing and a miss. Got him. Well, Webb comes in, gives up a couple hits and a sack fly, but five for seven if you factor in the bottom third. And another base hit. Eddie Pelk lines one through the 5.5 hole. Leadoff single. Leadoff man aboard once again. But, man, if they can produce down there. Crenshaw to bunt. Ball in the dirt. And Pelk is going to easily move up on the wild pitch. Pedarini is well back. Or you could just slap one into left center field. It's going to get down. Pelk is going to come around to score easily. Barreras hustling in for a double. Lopes back on top. Four to three. I'm trying to keep Barreras close. Line drive over the glove of the shortstop, Kazmar. Barreras has to stop. A little trickery and a double steal. We'll see, though. Good lead. Fakes to go. Skies it into shallow center field. This might not be deep enough. Shortstop gives away to Stevenson, the center fielder. Throw is going to come all the way home, but no advance. 3-2 pitch. Strike three called on the outside corner at 93. Boy, what a pitch. Line drive, right center field. That's going to get down. Pelk over quickly to hold Gravelin to a single. So on base for the fourth time today, but his first base hit. See if he works even further out here. There goes the runner, a little squib shot. And Barreras, perfect position to make the grab. Ball four. Into left field, going to get down. Lipsy has to play it on a bounce. Third single of the night. Crown ball right through the 5.5 hole. Avila. Rounds third. Throw's going to come into third. Two out base knock for Crenshaw. Produces the fifth run of the ball game. Lopes up by two. 5-3. Emilio. Little squib shot. Going to fall in front of the center fielder, Stevenson. The throw will come to third. Crenshaw's got to hurry. He does. And Barreras takes a second. Can Verdusco be the first to four hits? Maybe he can. Yes, he can. Up, up, and away. Three-run shot for the exclamation point by Cade Verdusco. The 16th hit of the game for Grand Canyon. You're just waiting for them to pull away. I think that shot certainly does it. Verdusco with a no-doubter four-hit game. Have a night, Cade. Ball four. Probably had the green light, but not even close. The whack hitter of the week curse alive and well. And he's on base for the first time with a walk for the Lopes in this one to produce their nine runs. A little chopper to second. Could be two. They got to hurry, though. The return throw not going to be in time. Too much of a slow roller, but Ankeny out 4-6 for the first out of the inning. Certain innings, the 1-2 to Perez. Strike three called. 2-2 two, two count with two outs, the pitch. Ripped off of the first baseman into right field. York scores easily. Avila, round second, he'll cruise in to third. Should be the fourth base hit of the day for Eddie Pelk and another RBI. Lopes lead at 10-3. Here goes Pelk, that one ripped. Coming over. Got under it a bit. Thought he got more of it. Making the grab in right field is Oakley. Playing almost every day. Up high, walked him. The one two to Lipsy. Swing and a miss. Got him. First strikeout of the year for Skagrud. Swing and a miss. What a breaker. Look at that. 69 miles an hour. Second strikeout. The two two. Swing and a miss. He got him. Skagrud comes in, walks the first batter he faces, and then strikes out the side, and the Lopes win it. 10-3, to 
your final.